Greetings, this is Claude thompson -Sin, and I'm coming to you with some breaking news. It has come to our attention that Calvin Thorborn III is now a free agent. He has been an outstanding scorer who can make a contender out of most teams. For the last 15 years, as part of Universal Music Group, Calvin has been an integral part in promoting the careers of notable artists like Amy Winehouse, Kobe Calais, Drake, and the list goes on. He utilized his versatility in the field to develop and execute traditional and digital campaigns that would promote the various brands he represented. He also developed partnerships and created strategies for projects launching on mobile and internet properties. Recently, Calvin had been rehabbing a ruptured ego, but is reportedly back on the mend and is being courted by a few teams in the Atlanta area. This star performer ends the season with several campaigns under his belt, as well as high accolades from his coaches and teammates. What? I'm getting word that our reporter in the field, Tara Tottenville, has Hi, caught up with Calvin. Ask you a few questions? Okay, let's oh, go live great. to Tara. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting your training. We wanted to congratulate you on your free agency. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Now, I have a few questions for you. Yeah. So, you've created and designed campaigns for some of the biggest names out there Nickelback, Fallout Boy, even The Weeknd, to name a few. Yeah. Do you have any idea of what teams you might be joining next? Oh, wow. Um,. I definitely, you know, have thought about it and thought about whether I want to stay in Atlanta or not. And I, I'm pretty sure I want to stay. There's a lot of great professional teams here. Um, whew, I gotta catch my breath. A lot of professional teams here that I that I'd love to play for. But if I wanted to stay in media, um, I probably like would go with somebody like Turner Broadcasting or WSB or WAGA. Um, but I'm also interested and open to you know stuff outside of media. Like um, Tesla has a good regional position that I think would be really perfect for me. Um, but I mean, the, the teams here are so many. I just would, I'd be proud to to work for like a Coca-Cola or um, Comcast or any of the professional teams that, that play out here. Yeah, a lot of options. How soon do you plan on getting back out there and joining that new team? Oh, um, I mean, I'm ready to go. I uh, just try to increase my skill level and train and and stay healthy and fit and and I, you know I'm ready for whoever has the right offer really. Tara, Tara, um, can but, you hear uh, me? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Tara, can you hear me? Claude. What's, yes. what's his plans for the summer? Claude wanted me to ask, what are your plans for this summer? Oh, um, thanks for asking, Claude. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing. Uh, there's a lot of, I'm, I'm going to spend some time with family, first of all. Take care of my father, put a lot of time into that. And, um, but then there's like a lot of filming going on here in Atlanta. Uh, I'd love to, uh, you know, audition for some things. Um, I, I've been doing some writing and recording. I wrote a, a treatment to a, a reality show um, called Survivor Johnny and the City Slicker. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, I'm just going to stay busy, and when I get the right offer, you know, I'm, I'm ready to move. That's great. Well, Calvin, it's always a pleasure. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us, and it's, again, congratulations. Thank Back you. to you in the studio, Claude. Thank you, Tara. On a personal note, I haven't always been a Calvin fan per se, but after I studied his film, watched a couple of music videos, and realized he ran a few marathons, I couldn't deny his talent and drive. I wish him the best, and I believe his best season of marketing, promotion, event coordination, and general creativity are definitely ahead of him. So he'll be a great choice for the lucky team that picks him up. This has been Claude Thompsonson for CT3 News. Good evening. the challenges of growing up in New York City. Now, I've been a marketing exec for over a decade here in Atlanta, Georgia. When I told my people in New York I'm moving to Georgia, they said, stay in the city. I don't know why they would say that, but I listened to them up until now. I'm Survivor Johnny. I grew up playing in the woods here in Georgia. When I was a kid, there was no internet, there was no Xbox, there wasn't even Atari back then. We went out in the woods and played. That's what we did. I could teach anybody the skills that you need to survive until you're rescued if you get lost in the woods. 